Yo, what's going on? We're back. Secret of Evermore. Part 7? I don't remember, sir. It's honestly, viewers, it's been like... Oh 500 it's been, hours. It's been weeks since we recorded this. Well, that's what you get for building such a huge backlog. <laughs> yeah. Eric, you you slay me, my friend. <laughs> that wasn't even a How was that funny, Mike? <laughs> Guys, come Man, on. Man, you fucking suck at this game. So it's been a building. Ah! It's God, been a damn, while. I... Um, hey viewers, so we're gonna talk about this here and probably in the next podcast. But someone stole one of our videos already and re-uploaded it. Yeah, already. so. Weird. Again, it was like it was, it was our Family Guy video, and the channel that stole it had just Family Guy videos. It was like a bot that was just stealing videos that had Family Guy tags. But it was either a bot or just some kid who decided, like, I'm gonna steal a bunch of Family Guy stuff and make a Family Guy channel. The sad thing is, he has more subscribers. That's than what us. I was just gonna say. <laughs> he has like way more subscribers. But it doesn't shock me because he had a couple of full Family Guy episodes on there. So, oh, okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So these are the but, most annoying monsters in the game. But that was the first time I had to submit a uh, copyright claim to YouTube, and they took it down, like they acted upon it within like, I don't know, I think less than two hours, so. Hey, good job, YouTube. It's yeah. it's the scat, man. Beep, bop, 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 bop. Skip, bop, 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 bop. Guys. And yes, these oh, enemies shit. do look did we, did we talk about the scat man previously in a play let's play i feel like we we were feel, like just I talking i think it was pokemon it. yeah yeah it was the pokemon one that we did pokemon man man god yeah, god mike come on annoying as fuck like you killed it good job go away not even your mama loves you bitch Oh, Mike, you don't know that. Well, because they're I like skeletons, I, was, I just think they're not actually alive. Or their parents are probably not alive. What the fuck? I like those Easter Island statues with boiling lava inside their heads. <laughs> they have giant feet and, like, yeah. very small bodies. <laughs> they have giant feet. You know what that means? They should have big old swinging elephant dicks. Oh. <laughs> Still crude. Yeah. That would be your uh, album. Yeah, that would be your fucking album, Eric. Still <laughs> crude. <laughs> yeah, Eric goes and, on like a, a stand up tour. Like the Netflix special is called Still Crude. <laughs> I was thinking more of like a rap album. And it'd be like oh. him like sitting in front of a car putting up like a gang sign. <laughs> <laughs> Or like holding like a flashlight or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All like blinged out. Oh, that's my character, guys. Like a, a diamond necklace that says just says pussy eater. Yeah. Shit like her. <laughs> yeah, our mom calls him today on Discord or while well, he's on Discord, he's like, Oh shit like her. It was not mom, it was my friend. Yeah, but yes, we but... say we say extremely foul things to each aye, other. It's kind aye, of a running joke. Aye, aye. Wow, aye, 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 aye. Your mother aye. says foul things to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no, our show. our mom fucking cries when we talk bad. No, she doesn't. She definitely. She's always like. like she's a... always like Michael. No, yeah, there have been a few times when I've like said something like really fucked without like realizing who I was talking to, and she'll just be like. Hey, come on. Hey, come on now. <laughs> There's one time I put a, a, a sick animation song on and she left the room. <laughs> yeah, mom's like that. Like, uh, she, was, she was over here like a couple of weeks ago and I was like, 
you've never seen modern pro wrestling where it's like a lot more faster paced and athletic than the stuff back in the day so i showed her a match and she was like oh this is actually like pretty crazy and like the skill that they have and stuff and then so then she came over again a couple weeks after that and i was like you want to watch another wrestling video because like you liked it and she was like no i don't really like to see people hurting each other and i'm like mom it's like you know it's pro wrestling it's it's staged it's for entertainment yeah like no i just i don't like people i don't want to see somebody get hurt (laughs) (laughs) your mom's such a sweet lady yeah yeah, you met her i did she was nice yeah that was a really good day that trip was so much fun yeah it was and you guys got to have decent uh indian food oh we got to have fucking all you could eat sushi oh okay so where they live in america uh viewers they don't have all you can eat sushi where here in like, Toronto, every corner, everywhere. every corner, yeah. all you can eat sushi. Yeah, I'm sure like big places like, like, actually, I know like, LA, like, New York has City. It. Yeah. Yeah. LA has it because I remember Dyrus was like, oh, hey, I'm going to eat all you can eat sushi. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part about it was Julie kept like whispering to my ear, like, how much is this all going to cost? And I was just like, $12 a person. <laughs> <laughs> it was more like 17 but yeah. yeah well it's advertised as a 12 dollar lunch why do they charge you how do they charge you 17 then taxes in canada are fucking through the roof my friend well not o- not only that but usually if you order a drink that's not included oh in no 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 gabe water. and julie 100 percent waters <laughs> what they just don't order they drinks? never gets well, okay so the first time i went up to texas they were like we are going to feed you all you have to do is pay for the plane ticket and i was like okay so i'd always get a soda with my food but like halfway through the week they were just like like we have sodas at home like just get waters and i'm like Oh my god, just I'll buy my own fucking soda at the store. <laughs> you know what's funny about that is like I'm like the total opposite of that. Like when I'm at home, I'm usually drinking water, but when I eat out, I'll always get a soda. I need to have a soda when I eat out, man. No, yeah. see, I always drink water now. Water or tea. But I like I don't know, it's so much cheaper like to get water or tea. It at is the, cheaper. The restaurant like and sodas you spend like three bucks on soda at a restaurant whatever you could like yeah you, that's true. Two, you, you go get two two liters for three bucks that's true i like my two liters like you you, you just stop <laughs> drinking soda I, I do need to stop drinking soda i almost quit when i thought i had diabetes <laughs> and you had you had the same thing i had a couple years ago a tiny ass kidney stone Yep. See, I don't, I don't know if it's a kidney stone. I'm still skeptical that it was a kidney stone. Don't, because like everyone that I've heard of get a kidney stone, get they're they're in the hospital. I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk no, big I, on myself, and I, I'm sure if it was, it was really tiny. But I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. I, it does. I don't care, Mike. Like this is kidney stones are supposed to be the male equivalent of childbirth like when i when, one painful. night when one night when i pissed it's getting really personal viewers um <laughs> it it hurt and i thought it was just because like i kept forcing myself to pee but i was just like what was that pain well i'll tell you like guys i don't know years, where the fuck i'm going i'm gonna be honest with year, you <laughs> years ago basically the same thing happened to me like it hurt oh, when i, I took a this. piss and without being too graphic for like a couple days after that my pee hole hurt so i go to the doctor he does all these like blood tests and urine tests and he's like we found small amounts of blood in your urine so you got to go get an ultrasound and i'm like freaking out because it's like what if i have like big c kidney cancer or something like that so he does the ultrasound absolutely nothing shows up and i'm like so what do you think it was and he's like you probably passed a very small kidney stone like almost the size of a grain of sand and it tore you up when you were passing it, and that's why there was blood in your urine. Mm. There's blood in his urethra. Eric also has a, a, a narrow, I have a narrow yeah. urethra. But uh, okay. yeah, so yeah, I mean, you Garrett, kill? like Garrett, you are correct in that. Like, if you get a big one, yeah, you're in the fucking hospital. But apparently, according to my doc, anyways, and I didn't even know this till then, you can pass one that's like the size of a grain of sand. 
Alright, well, I, I guess I'm satisfied for now, but yeah. Where the fudge do I go, viewers? Where do I go, my lovely? I want to know. Okay, I need to find a, a gate. Bit of, a little bit little of what? Bit of, I can't remember that band's name now. A little bit of, little bit of moist in your panties. <laughs> I need to find a That's gate. That's gonna drive me nuts now. Where's a gate? Where Fucking gate Jesus! Where do we no go now? Yet. Where do we go? Oh, I was doing guns and or roses. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's and door. door. <laughs> Did you know Bob Dylan originally wrote that song? No Dude, really? way. Yeah, Bob Dylan. Yeah, absolutely. Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan never. And, Bob Dylan didn't even write his and, own music. Did you know that Forever Young, made famous by Rod Stewart, was also written by Bob Dylan? Huh. Wow, yeah. the, the folk singing honky wrote, wrote quite a few songs. Dude, Bob Dylan's fucking amazing. What I've been, fuck? I've just been like binge li- My <gasps> You're not gonna make it, you're oh, dead. Sir. You're dead, you're dead. Poison's gonna tick. Ah, oh, he made it. What the- Jesus, my- Go wow. away, dinosaur heads! Look at how much damage they do. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm in the club with my shades on. Cool guys, don't also, can you move your mouse? Song. It's really bugging me. I know the viewers can't see it, but it's bothering me. It's not me. on that. Oh, you guys are looking at my other monitor. There you go. Where do I go? My lovely. Where do we go now? Where what's do we the, go? What's that one song about sunglasses? At, sunglasses at night. That's what it is. Corey Hart. Corey Hart. Yeah. A Canadian classic. I was he's doing. From, he's from Montreal. I was doing uh, Hollywood Undead, Garrett, because Charlie Scene always sings about how he's in the club with his shades on, and it's chaos. Or he's smoking a a a, a, a marijuana cigarette in a strip club. I mean, a blunt. He, he often talks about. <sighs> Mike, can you get your shit together? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Uh, it's been so long since I played. Why didn't you? Why didn't you like look this up before we decided to do this? Cause we're a dumb, dumb, dumb channel for dumb heads. A big stupid uh, doo doo head. Big stupid doo doo head. <laughs> That's uh, like, a little Bill Cosby just like, for you. Are those like cats and sarcophagus that just like swipe with you through tiny claws? Yeah. That's cool. That's adorable. <laughs> okay. So, what I'm gonna do... <laughs> I gonna be, your, be your whip it. What I think I must do is... uh. Go in from another area? What's here? Maybe this is it. Uh huh. Ah, here we go. Did we do it? I think so. Four feathers, a biscuit, a little cat. Meow. Meow. Kill the cat. Kill it. One day I want to get one day, one day I want to get strife in on this podcast. Or <laughs> He's already play. been in it several Shit. times. Okay, fuck this. You don't need the XP anyway, Mike. No, I don't. You need to level up your sword. Hey, you though. found some grease. Grease lining, go grease lining. I saw my favorite. <laughs> My favorite is beauty school dropout. That's Go a good back song. to high school. It's a good song. It's a sad song. But... Now, okay. Was that Angel Man part of her imagination? Or does Grease t say that angels exist in that reality? I think she was thinking of committing suicide. And she took some drugs. And that was her near-death experience. 
Also, I guess it is a universe where a car can fly for no reason, so... Oh, uh, yeah, that was... I weird. guess angels aren't, uh, that unbelievable. I like how they parodied that in the last episode of, uh, Kim Possible. Did they? Yeah, at the end, Ron and Kim get in the car and it flies away for no reason. And they just start screaming. <laughs> They're like, what is happening? <laughs> Kim! She's like, I'm scared too, Ron. And then, like, Rufus just, like, winks to the camera. <laughs> he does that Fucking little gibberish Rufus. talk. He's like, bah, 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 that, that, that's all, folks! Ah, okay, we're gonna get the axe. And then I can break walls. Go away. You just, you just broke a wall. Well, that <laughs> wall is the only wall that shatters to touch. Where all the other crumbly walls will not shatter upon Why? touch. It doesn't make any sense. Why would that be the only one? Why wouldn't they just not have that wall there if... What were they thinking? Come on, yeah. game designers. Or should I say gay designers? <laughs> you got him. <laughs> got him, I sure. Sure did it. And do you really you really taught them a lesson. I'm I'm witty, I'm smart. Smart and I'm witty. Witty and pretty and gay. And I pity any girl who isn't me. I forgot how it goes. What is that from again? That sounds so familiar. It's witty, pretty, and gay. Witty. Um, I feel pretty. Is it's that it? Like I in feel pretty? Meme videos and stuff. I feel, so it's an actual videos. song. Well, yeah, but. I feel pretty and witty and gay, and I pity any girl who is in me tonight. I wonder. Uh, I wonder at what point the word gay stopped meaning happy and started meaning, you know, like a homosexual. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Probably in some the Flintstones. Probably the some Flintstones, some asshole a, probably said it to some guy who was gay, and then it just kind of caught on. Because gay gay people are happy. Because in the Flintstones they say we'll have a gay old time, and that was like in the '60s. So it must have been at some point between the what '60s the and the '90s. What the fuck? Wait, I'm above it. You're gonna get hit again right there. Watch. God, go away, dinosaur head. It's like how the word boner used to mean like a foolish mistake. <laughs> okay, so I have this story to tell. Um, back when Is it about boners? maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> back in like maybe fourth or fifth grade, I forgot. Um, I was playing this game and. Uh, it was a racing game, like Midnight. Club Open or, it! Or oh no, it was a Need for Speed, and you have your own clan, and you get to name your clan. And I, as my clan um, picture, I put a skull and crossbones because I was an edgy teenager. And you called them the Boners. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't know boners that I didn't know that that's what it meant. And my my friend's brother was like laughing. And I was like, wait, wait, what, what, what's wrong so with that? Funny. And he's like, oh, oh, nothing, nothing. That's fine. But I did it with a Z. Boners with a Z. Because <laughs> I wasn't really. Edgy that's team. actually a fucking amazing story. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna be the boners. And then, like, his brother let me keep it that way. So, I I, I played this game with my clan as the boners. Do you have a lot of, like, 50-year-old men messaging you? <laughs> this was a time before everything was on the internet, so... Oh, okay. I think his dad, I, I, I feel like his dad saw it and was like, Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Who the fuck named it boners? <laughs> <laughs> so innocent. <laughs> oh! Jesus. I'm gonna have epilepsy. Well, what is wrong with him? He's a rainbow. He's gay. You know, I, I, fe I feel too. like it should have, uh... 
worn off this little effect, but... You think it's glitching? This game's a little glitchy sometimes. That's just kind of how it is. What is that effect? Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Trippy club music effect? Some what the some fuck? Fuck? Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely it's definitely glitched out. Cause now they're on fire. That's my like impression of club music. Yeah, you got a good sound on that, man. <laughs> Yo, slow. Eric, Eric, do you like just listen to EDM? I do listen to EDM, but not by any means only. What's your, what's your what's your most listened to genre? Uh, either new wave or synth pop. Rap or hardcore. Are you one of those hardcore kids who windmill kicks in front of a full length mirror? Yep. I got a video. I can send it to you. Mike, you're almost dead. Yes. Yeah, close, Mike. Slow burn did a lot of damage. <gasps> what is so this? Now they're doing storm. Uh, yeah. I don't think that's a glitch. I think that's a feature. No, this is no, because see, now they're looking like they got healed. This oh. is for sure a glitch. Well, now they, now they got healed, so now you have to do all that damage over again. Yo, these guys have uh, they're oh. now they're oh, you leveled up your sword. Does now that mean they're they do more damage? Smurf's yeah. testicle. Oh, and then we instantly replace it with the bronze axe. No, use the sword. We will. And uh, we will. And next time. Ah. Yeah. Ah. But I was having so much fun. Bye, viewers. We love you.